This is Let's Be Briefed, where we cover mysteries, conspiracies, and other unknowns each week. Let's get into it. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Sarah. We received some feedback that maybe we could put the topic in one episode instead of different parts. So we're going to try that out this week. Uh, Today we're talking about the Dyatlov Pass incident, which Sydney will be briefing us on. In 1959, 10 young, experienced hikers set out on a two-week trek through the Ural Mountains. One hiker returns early and the other nine are found barely clothed more than a mile from their tent. The events surrounding their deaths have spiked controversy ever since. But before I tell you that, Sarah, how was your week? Um, I think it was pretty okay, but daylight savings time sucks. Oh no, it was, it really messed me up this year. Yeah, I took the day off on Monday, so I think that helped a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. I had... Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off because I had friends in town. But then I think that made it harder for me to adjust because I was so out of my schedule. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I felt really good Tuesday, but then Wednesday it like crashed again, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no. Like hit me that the time changed. (laughs) So it was good for like two days. And like since I was out of work, I've had to go like I've had to go in early both days so that made it so much worse oh yeah I think the alarm clock's helping though like a lot me too for anyone anyone out there looking for a good alarm clock the hatch alarm clock hatch restore it does wonders I don't know the it turns a light on before your alarm goes off and I think it like if I wake up before my alarm and the lights on I just stay awake oh yeah me too also not sponsored but yeah not sponsored but it's it's really nice although it's great I have not been waking up before the alarm right now which is I think messing me up because before the time change I was waking up like right when the light was starting and now the alarm's waking me up like the sound so it jerks me like out of a dream still oh no today was better maybe it'll like maybe your body will adjust better after a little bit yeah I think so I think it'll be faster than before because before would take like six months (laughs) that's so long It'll be better this time. I feel like I'm right. Today I already like woke up before the alarm went off, so it's getting better. Yeah, making progress. Yeah. How about you? Mm, I rear-ended someone on Saturday. It was so bad. Some lady was like, okay, I'm... I'm going straight towards the exit down a row in a parking lot. Like, I do not have to turn. I'm going straight. A car comes at me from the right. And, like, the line of cars was backed up to where she couldn't turn right away. But even if she could have turned, she would have cut me off. Like, the timing of this was if if the line of cars wasn't there, she would have cut me off. But she pulled way forward and looked the other direction, like... I didn't see you and I am just gonna go but she definitely saw me yeah so instead of letting her go in because I thought that was rude and I don't like when people like bully you into that kind of stuff like it was like to me it was like she's just gonna do it and expect that everyone will let her do it even though that's not how traffic works so I pulled ahead like I did not let her in (laughs) and she laid on her horn for no less than like 10 straight seconds which is a long time really? and was yeah. flipping me off and then like two of them in the front seats flipping me off wow. and then they were behind me so i was like i need to get out of here i need to get out of here it was the bucky's parking lot oh that one's confusing i think i know and i have to get all the way from like pulling out to the fo- like four lanes over so first of all i'm freaked out that these ladies are behind me and then I'm looking and there's like quite a bit of traffic and I see my spot so I kind of start going and then I realized the lady ahead of me hadn't gone yet and I bumped into her and she was so mad and then we like 
moved back into the parking lot and she asked me what happened and once i told her like i wasn't like driving recklessly like that i had the right of way in that situation which i probably should have just let them in and not been difficult but that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people just expect that you're gonna let them do things because they act like they're supposed to be doing it yeah but oh and i forgot so when once we like first hit we both got out of the car because i needed i wanted to see how bad her car was damaged because i was freaking out i didn't even look at my car and the girls behind me screamed that's chicken for cutting me off bitch and then i calmly told the lady i said i didn't cut them off they cut me off and then she was like i need your license and i need your insurance and she was like mad so we went over back into the parking lot and then i told her like what happened and then she's like oh you had the right of way okay and then by the end of it i'm sobbing and the lady is like it's not gonna be that expensive like it won't be a big deal we can like i will call you once i get a quote on how much it's gonna be to fix and like if you want to pay it out of pocket you can which is good because i think if you're involved in an accident even if you're not at fault like your insurance still goes up a little bit Mm. i'm pretty sure I think, I mean, depends what insurance you have. Mine didn't go up with my accident, but I wasn't at fault. Um. I feel like if you're at fault, mine. I looked up how much it goes up if you are at fault. It's a 41%. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's good for you that she's letting you pay out of pocket. Well, and also I have Progressive, and it has, like, small accident forgiveness. So if it's less than $500, like, it won't change my rates but if it's less than five hundred dollars i'm gonna pay it myself like yeah unless she goes behind my back and charges insurance anyway i'm not gonna pay the insurance i don't know i was i and i was sobbing and i couldn't stop crying i was so embarrassed because i had my friends with me yeah (sighs) so yeah that was that's traumatic yes it was so it was like as i would have cried even if those ladies didn't verbally abuse me but man i was i was just like who does that like i was already up like if someone's like i would have just said oh they got their karma and if i like genuinely thought i was in the right in that situation oh they got their karma and whatever but to say something i just think that's ridiculous yeah, to drive by and yell at you when they yes. leave. Like, that's yes. ridiculous. Yeah. They had a U-Haul. Wow. I hope they weren't moving here. I feel like they were from California. No offense, people from California, but I can always maybe, tell. Maybe they're moving away. No, I think they were moving to Austin. Oh. Yeah, Austin is a big... They're still, like, huge, right? Up and coming. Yeah. Even I feel like they're already here i guess i don't feel like they're up and coming i know but it's not that big of a city like san antonio is like 2.5 million austin's like oh my god don't quote me on this like 600,000 or like 800 oh. max i did not realize that yeah it's a lot i mean here's the thing though austin has like a bunch of little cities all around it san antonio is just san antonio yeah that's fair fifth largest city in the country san antonio yeah but it has no metro area and everything else does (laughs) they're cheaters yeah they kind of need well they have the walk river walk which is supposedly the most visited or second most visited man-made attraction in the country but i want to know who who decides that because the river walk doesn't you don't have to like check in and say you went to the river walk that's true. How are they How are they counting this? <laughs> Who's counting? Wow. What's the first one? The boots <laughs> in San Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my friends about the boots. They could not get over that a man lived inside of them. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> I love those boots. I know. For anyone who doesn't know, San Antonio has the world's largest cowboy boots and at one point, a homeless man lived inside of the boot and lit a fire, and they thought the boots were on fire, but it was just a guy living there. Yeah, that's sad, though, too. How did he get in there? I want to know. I know. I want to know how he got inside. Yeah. And, like, they don't look open on the top, so I want to know how it was venting smoke. Oh. 
Yeah, I feel like it shouldn't be open. I mean, you guys don't get a lot of rain, but if you do, then it would be full of rain. <laughs> so it shouldn't be it would open. Be so gross. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's the majority of how my week went. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But also maybe restful. <laughs> they exhausted me. That's true too. Yeah, that's a long time. And it was like a lot of uh tour guiding. Like we did all the stuff. Oh, they had never been there? No. So it was like very 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 draining. Yeah. And oh my god, here's a little fun story. Hold on. We were walking by the river walk and obviously like today is St. Patrick's Day, right? Yeah. This lady was like, oh, I found out it's it's dyed green because of St. Patrick's Day. They didn't dye it green. It was just nasty green. Like, they didn't <laughs> dye it green until, like, yesterday or today. Oh. Like, it was just, like, swamp-looking green. But when they dye it green, it's, like, deep, like, almost, like, teal green. Oh. And I was like, oh, my God. Wait till I tell you. <laughs> that's just what it looks like. Yeah, that's just the water. Yeah, it was so gross. Like, literally yeah, nasty. Yeah, it is pretty green, naturally. I should send you- I'll send you the picture after of, like, there's a picture of them dumping the dye in, and you can, like, clearly tell the difference between the water that's dyed and the water that isn't, but one of them is, like, teal green, and the other one is, like, Shrek green. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so bad. Yeah, I didn't realize they dyed it, I guess. I guess, does everyone do that? Like, Chicago does. I feel like Indianapolis dyes the canal. I didn't, I only knew of Chicago. When we moved here, the first time we went down to the Riverwalk, they had it dyed green, and we're like, oh, it's so pretty. I think they should just dye it year-round, honestly. Like, blue or green, because it's so gross. Yeah, but, like, what's the dye? I have no idea. I guess blue dye probably isn't. Yeah. I don't know. I know Chicago says that's like algae, environmentally friendly kind of dye or whatever, but it's a special secret blend. <laughs> they don't share what it <laughs> is. Chemicals. But yeah. <laughs> they say it's natural. I mean, I guess algae can make it green. I wonder if it's like spirulina or something, because that's like green green. I don't know what that is. It's like an algae that you can eat. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it goes know. into or like the liquid lake. chlorophyll. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not. Yeah, you don't want to poison the lake. That's our source of water. Right. All right. Well, I guess let's get into it. You're familiar with this. We're talking about the Dyatlov Pass and incident this week. I'm very familiar as well. Yeah, this one is. This is like a. a a classic. I feel like if you know conspiracies, you know this story. At least to some yeah. degree. I didn't know it as in-depth as I have now learned it. Um, there's a lot that people don't talk about that makes it a lot less... Like, it. I don't know. After hearing it all, just getting this right out of the way, I do not think it was aliens. What about Bigfoot? Or whatever, <laughs> Yeti? <laughs> No. Okay. Fine. Maybe, but no. <laughs> okay. Let's let's get all right. into it. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, at first, there were ten hikers, and I'm gonna go through the the series of events, and we'll describe people as they come up. Um, as I guess as they're found, just because there's so many of them, and it's it was very hard for me to keep everyone straight when I was doing this because yeah. I'm not familiar with russian names so they all sounded the same it doesn't help that there's three yuris like what am i supposed to do oh, with that yeah i didn't know that yeah i don't really know their names yeah so there's the hikers and they went to what's called the ural polytechnic institute which is like basically the harvard of the USSR at that time. Like, Boris Yeltsin oh. went there. I don't know who that is, but he went there. <laughs> That's the first elected president of Russia. Well, dang, he went <laughs> I to... 
I learned that because yesterday we had game night and that was one of the questions was who was the first <laughs> democratically elected president. It was him. Well, now we know. Now